Good morning. Time for a yard update. It's been a little bit of time, but we did have, you know, a distraction come our way. Anyway, here's a tulip that's almost bloomed. This is up at the top of the, the driveway. This is um, the side yard where I had a whole bunch of tulips growing and the deer came and promptly ate all of them. So I have still some daffodils coming up and these are little grape hyacinths coming up. So that's the status here. It was kind of devastating on the tulip front, but I knew that I was taking a chance. I didn't know how the deer were going to react to the tulips, so I did most of them in Hugo's yard where they don't go. But I wanted to take a chance and see what happened here, and now we know. Deer like tulips. They do not like daffodils. Here's some more daffodils. They haven't bloomed yet. They are the newer daffodils. Uh, you're going to see that the older established daffodils have pretty much all bloomed and all the new stuff is still working their way up. Um, I planted them mid-November through early December, so... You can also see here my lavender is starting to come back. This area... I had some crocuses pop up but not bloom. And here are the daffodils. finally starting to get some buds on the daffodils, some of them. It seems like the ones that I dug up and then replanted, um, I split them and then replanted them, they don't seem to be budding as much. Now we'll go into Hugo and Ivy's area. Hi guys! Hi! Okay, you gotta let me in. This bed here is the one that's directly in front of the house, so it gets maybe an hour or two of sun at this point in the spring. You can see that everything is starting to come up, but it's way behind everything else. These are my coral bells, and I just read that they will also, they should also flower late spring, and they're great for hummingbirds. So I have to get them into a better sunspot. You can see there are a lot of wild strawberries coming up and then daffodil stalks. I had some tulips. Did they eat them? Oh no, here we go. There's a tulip. There's a tulip. Here are my chives that all of a sudden just started doing really well. This is catmint in these bit uh, planters here. I'm going to plant them actually into the ground this year. I just, I didn't know where I was going to put them last year, so I put them in pots for the winter, and they're starting to come back. This pot does not have as great drainage as it should, so also it's growing a tennis ball. Um, thanks to that. This bed here is full of tulips that are on their way, and then pretty sure this here is my ranunculus starting to come up and there's another one back there I did a whole bunch of ranunculus in this bed I think there's some more back there I didn't do anything I've learned since that I think you're supposed to soak them before you plant them uh, I just took them out of the, the package and put them in the ground so we'll see what happens with them And then we have one more bed up here. So the daffodils that have bloomed were there uh, originally. And then I added all the stuff that's coming up now that hasn't quite bloomed yet. You can see I have at least one tulip bud. Oh, wait, there's another one. Some new daffodils. My hyacinths are really starting to pop up. I need to get some kind of barrier here 
because this has turned into a thoroughfare with uh, my new landscaper. Um, so we did, there was a tulip bud that got knocked off, uh, but you know, trade-offs. So I'm gonna have to put in a border here and then you'll see those are the trees right above this bed. So it gets the sun now, but then during the summer, it's more of a shade bed because it's got the, um, the tree cover. One exciting thing is we have completely cleared this area. There are a couple saplings that we still want to take down and um, a couple limbs that we're going to take down. But as far as clearing, the leaves are all cleared and everything. And I think next weekend, Today is March 31st. It's Easter, by the way. Happy Easter. Um, next week, I think we're going to start to sow the clover seed, which is going to become our ground cover. So I think we're going to sow it here and then also on the street, uh, from the sidewalk to the street, that patch of grassy area there, we're going to do some clover and some wildflowers in there. This will just do clover because this is complete shade during the summer. So until we open up the canopy, we're not going to do anything other than the clover here. Do some ivy spam. Hello, ivy. Wait, here comes Ivy's friend. Wait. Hopefully you can hear the birds. Okay, so now let's go look at the backyard. We have some forsythia blooming. I adore forsythia in the spring. It's very scraggly. So once it's done blooming and it goes to green, we're going to prune it and see if we can't get it to come back next year fuller. This is another area I planted. I got a couple crocuses and one or two of them actually bloomed, but mostly it was just like the crocus grass so far. I have a couple daffodils coming up. No buds yet on these daffodils. Again, the, uh, the sun isn't as warm here and here we go so this is the side yard and these are all the established daffodils and as you can see we are just in full swing so we have all sorts of varieties the yellow the white and yellow. It's Easter morning, so to me, daffodils on Easter morning are perfect. This area here. That green there were all our snowbells that came up. This is the spot right outside my mom's window where she sits all day. And these are these are one of my favorite kinds. The yellow with the orange. And we got some of the white ones. the lilac bush that we planted last year. We gotta go in and get the dead stuff. But you can see all the new growth that's coming. So that's gonna be fun. Somewhere back here I planted a butterfly bush but it seems like it may have died completely. There's some more daffodils. Daffodils are 
those back there. Those there. Some there. Just had a bird fly right in front of us. We've done very little in the cleanup side of things. Um, it was really, really nice. And then we got a colder snap um, and uh, an ivy. So we have been distracted, plus wimpy as far as working in the cold. It's supposed to be cooler and rainy this week. And then starting the following week, starting next weekend actually, we're supposed to go up into much warmer temperatures. So we should get our, our act in gear and get moving as far as cleanup is concerned. Um, I have sort of revised my plans as far as my beds are concerned. I think what we're going to do, this is the side yard on the north side of the house. Um, I think what I'm going to do, this was going to be, to me, this was going to be like all wildflowers and cro um, clover. And I think I'm going to throw some beds in here first. There's not uh, as much of a canopy, so this gets a lot of sun. Um, so I think I'm going to start here before uh, I do much else. I do love, I think this is myrtle, they said which are the little blue wildflowers, blue and purple wildflowers. They're very, very pretty, but I think what I will do is just put some beds here and put my zinnias and other cut flowers in here to start, and then I'll move towards these two backyards but they have much more uh, canopy than I'm not sure we're going to get to clearing this year because we have some more um, important areas that we have to clear with the tree guys. So, um, but anyway, that is our yard update. We are in full daffodil mode. I haven't let Mary Beth come out and cut any of them because I wanted to give you guys an update. But now what we'll do this morning is we'll come out and cut a whole bunch of them and bring them inside for Easter and have them in vases. So there you go. We'll keep you posted.